Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, and this is your numerology reading. All right, so I picked two lovely numbers for you here today, and the two numbers that came up are 5 and 20. So God, the angels, your spiritual team is trying to communicate with you today through numbers. So go ahead and pick one of those numbers and drop it in the comments below, and then come back here and listen to this beautiful message uh, for you today. All right, so if you picked five, five is all about positive change. Am I afraid of change? Yes, this is a sign that there is something huge happening in your life. There's something that's coming in, whether it's expected or unexpected. There is um, an unfolding that is occurring in your life with positive change. So it's super important for you to embrace changes in your life. Because remember, nothing's going to ever change unless you make a change. So when you see five, when fives are showing up in your life, it means that it's time to make a change and or there is a change coming, whether you like it or not. Now, it's really important when we look at change, because I know I don't like changing either, um, but one thing that is really going to help you move through the changes that are coming in your life is trying not to be over dramatic, right? As a human, our ego tries to or wants to attach this drama to everything. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. And oh, why is this happening to me? And oh my gosh. Um, but as a spiritual person, you know, because we are spiritual people, as a spiritual person, when we can let go of all of the adjectives. Nothing is either good or bad. Uh, everything just is what it is. And it's all happening for you, for the unfoldment, for the evolution of your consciousness. So this is a sign. Five changes coming. It's inevitable. There's nothing that you can do to change this. And so it's a matter of stepping into alignment and going with the flow instead of swimming upstream because you end up just really tired and you don't get anywhere anyway except exhausted. So positive change uh, happens, you know, through your mindset and it can be showing up in career, maybe a relationship, maybe a personal change, a lifestyle, a change in your life, lifestyle that's going to set you on a completely different trajectory in your life. So there is a beautiful shift that's happening right now. You can either hang on to what you're familiar with, uh, what you're comfortable with, or you can let go and uh, really step into this exciting adventure of your life. <laughs> so awesome. Anything is possible. The key is to stay in alignment and be aware because, you know, we're moving into a retrograde. Be aware, or it's probably retrograde right now when this airs, uh, of resistance because that's your shadow wanting to keep things the same or hold you back or, you know, this might be scary, the unknown. So the, your shadow works, you know, in a couple different levels, but one is it, it tries to protect you. So there may have been change in the past that was uh, hurtful or had a negative impact on your life. And so anytime you hear that word change again, it you've got PTSD, right? <laughs> so this is time to shine the light on positive change and embrace that. So be aware of resistance and that self-sabotage of, you know, PTSD, things that have happened in your past. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in terms of love, 
In terms of love, this number, number five, is about your emotional well-being. So making your emotional well-being a priority. So maybe there are people in your life that may be verbally abusive or emotionally abusive. And it's really time for you to stand in your power and take decisive, immediate action. Because in this year, in this new year, there is no space for people who are not treating you with love and respect. There isn't. And so you won't be able to continue in that relationship without some much needed changes. So, um, you know, <clears throat> spirit will sometimes create a situation where the relationship ends if you don't do what needs to be done to create a healthy environment for yourself. This happens in the workplace, that ha this happens everywhere in your life, not just relationships, but in terms of love, this is kind of spirit's last chance. It's like, you know, God is saying to you, uh, we're going to help you. You're not in this alone, but the relationship cannot thrive the way it is unfolding right now. So there's much needed change that needs to happen. So you can either step into that change and be a part of, be you know proactive in getting that going, or you can just, you know, indecision is a, no decision is a decision, right? You can stand by the, on the sidelines and see, you know, what spirit, how God's gonna handle that for you. And uh, sometimes it's better, <laughs> better if you have a hand in that. Uh, at least, you know, you have more uh, control, if you will. Ha ha. I know Metatron's laughing at me even just saying that word. <laughs> All right. Now, if you're single, it is, again, positive change. Number 20 is about your emotional well-being and positive changes coming into your life. So get really clear, really focused about what it is that you want and take clear, decisive action to move in that direction. Do not settle. Do not put up with someone who doesn't treat you well. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here's your affirmation. I attract positive changes that create the beautiful life that I deserve. I attract positive changes that create the beautiful life I deserve. Go ahead and pop that in the comments below because remember it gives it that extra punch, that extra powerful boost. And then um, don't forget, we have a beautiful meetup every single month that we'd love to invite you to. You can get to know us live in real time on Zoom and learn more about spirituality and connect with other like-minded souls on this beautiful spiritual journey. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into our next number. If you picked 20, 20 is all about highest good. Do bad things keep happening to you? Are the gremlins out to get you? Do you feel like every time you turn around, you get knocked down? Now, 20 is a message from God, the angels, your spiritual team, that everything is unfolding in perfect and divine order. There are no accidents. You did not do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, you're doing everything right. And the situation at hand, what's happening to you right now is actually for your highest good. You know, when you look back at this experience 20 years from now, you will be grateful, maybe a year from now. <laughs> You will be thankful that um, the people or the events that unfolded at this time brought you exactly to where you are today, and you wouldn't be where you are if that hadn't have happened. So there is a silver lining in the cloud. Just be patient. Don't try to rush things. And Again, be really gentle with yourself because you did not do anything wrong. Maybe you got fired from your job or maybe a, a relationship ended 
And I mean, I cannot say this enough times. You did not do anything wrong. This is not your fault. You did everything right. This is just another experience that's helping you to evolve and grow into the amazing person that you came here to be. So do not beat up on yourself. There are things that are happening behind the scenes that you don't even know about, and you're going to be grateful for this experience at the end of the day. Yeah. So don't rush this. Now, when we dial back the numbers and take a closer look, we have the energy of two, which always means everything's going to be okay. I love two, especially that two, 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 right? Uh, because the angels want you to know God is carrying you. God has your back. You do not have to do this alone. And two is just that beautiful sign that you're going to be okay, really. And then we've got zero, which is infinity. Um, it's the energy of God because of that infinity. And it always magnifies the number that's next to it. So we've got two even bigger and brighter for you today. And again, remember 20 means that it's unfolding for your highest good. Don't be, stop beating yourself up and allow this beautiful unfoldment to happen. There's, you know, there really is a plan, even though it might not look like it, even though it might like look like a big mess right now. Uh, God has a plan for your life. So trust in divine timing. All right, now in terms of love, this is all about stability and responsibility. So step up and take responsibility where responsibility needs to be taken. Stop blaming everybody else for not having a partner or the partner you have sucks. Uh, it's nobody's fault but your own. And take back your power and then make the needed changes in your life to get the desired result, to get the desired outcome, whether that's improving that relationship or uh, getting out there and being more active. And it also has that energy of stability. So it's indicating that when you are responsible for what's happening in your relationships, that there is a sense of stability and security that will move in, that will help you feel more confident and more secure in the direction you're headed and how you're handling the situation. So finally, it's a reassurance 20 in your relationship, in your romance, that everything really is going to be okay. Hang in there. All right, here's your beautiful affirmation today. I trust that everything is happening for my highest good. Always. I trust that everything is happening for my highest good. Always. Oh, that's a beautiful one for you today. Now, don't forget to stop by our website to listen to this month's free meditation called Embarking on a Journey. You can find that over at heavensenthealing.us. All right, everyone. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Mwah.